story, the ex-nanny of Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis taking the former couple to court. Ariel Reshev joins us now with her allegations against the stars. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Lara. This is a nanny who lived with this couple for more than two years. Now she's filed a discrimination lawsuit against them, claiming their split caused her emotional stress. And when she tried to follow doctor's orders to address it, she was fired. This morning, the former nanny of actors Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis suing them for firing her. In a lawsuit filed Tuesday, Erica Gennaro saying she suffered increased stress and anxiety while caring for the couple's two children after their split in 2020. Wilde, who directed and starred in Don't Worry Darling, moved out. Boys and their toys. At least we know they're getting work done. Gennaro claiming then the pressure of not only being the primary caretaker of the children, but also filling in Wilde's absence for the children became debilitating. It's like Dukes of Hazards. <laughs> you were, y'all probably call it the no. Earls of Risk over here. She also claims that Ted Lasso star Sudeikis would seemingly require her to stay up at night after the kids were put to bed to talk. According to the complaint, the pair agreed to engage in group therapy with Gennaro. She says that therapist referred her to an osteopathic physician to address her physical pain, anxiety, and stress, and that the situation unraveled when she decided to quit. She said she offered to stay on until the pair hired her replacement, but when her physician recommended she take a three-day medical leave of absence, she alleges Sudeikis terminated her on the spot. When you ask any employer, um, it, here in, in, in either in California or on the federal level, like, listen, I, I need a medical leave for to deal with a medical issue. Uh, you can't be you can't be fired for that, or your your job should not be in jeopardy for that. The couple's high-profile breakup playing out in public. Gennaro at one point reportedly sharing details about the couple's relationship. The stars responding to her interview as a united front, saying in a joint statement, as parents, it is incredibly upsetting to learn that a former nanny of our two young children would choose to make such false and scurrilous accusations about us publicly. The reality is in the state of California in particular, employees have a tremendous amount of rights. If she can make a strong case that it was her injury that was the cause of them terminating her, that may give her a stronger case. And ABC News reached out to Wild and Sudeikis, and so far they are not commenting on this lawsuit, but in their previous statement said that the nanny was on an 18-month campaign of harassment and they are focused on their children. Gennaro is seeking damages including loss of earnings, deferred compensation, and other employment benefits, and she's asking for a jury trial. Robin? We will see what happens, Ariel. Thank you.